Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, we already did the... No, we didn't, did we? Uh, no, we did the... Okay. Um, when the aorta comes down yeah. into the abdomen, uh, it, it does give off frank arteries to go to the diaphragm. And so the rule is, like if the diaphragm is that bell-shaped muscle over yeah. here, any artery that comes to it is called phrenic. And if they come to it from above, they're superior phrenic. So if they come up to it from below, they're inferior phrenic. Okay. Phrenic. Phrenic. P-H-R-E-N-I-C. Okay. We already uh, that. I happen to know because I worked on the key, that is an inferior phrenic artery, came off the aorta, went to the inferior side of the diaphragm. But we're not here to talk about phrenics now. What we want to see is uh, major vessels. So our first major branch off the aorta in the abdomen is the celiac front. It's going to trifurcate into left gastric artery. It has like a yellow sheen to it. Uh, thinking about the stomach for a minute, the stomach is kind of like a J-shaped organ. This here, the, the right-hand side of the stomach is concave. We call that the lesser curvature. The left side of the stomach is convex. That's the greater curvature. So the left gastric artery, as it comes up, is going to go into the lesser curvature, like, like so. Keep that in mind because we're going to come back to it. Then out here we're going to have our splenic artery. The splenic artery goes behind the stomach, goes out to the spleen, but also gives off this little tributary left gastro gastroploic artery yeah. that goes to the greater curvature on the left-hand side of the stomach. Okay. Then we have our common hepatic artery goes to the liver, uh, but on the way to the liver, it's going to give off a right gastric artery. Guess what that does? It comes into the lesser curvature of the stomach in an anastomosis with the left gastric artery. So if the stomach's here, lesser curvature's here, you're going to have an inflow of blood into it by the left gastric artery, right gastric artery, they anastomose with each other. Then here we have our gastroduodenal artery, goes posterior to the uh, pylorus and duodenum, uh, branches into a branch you don't have to know that goes down to the duodenum. That branch you do have to know, that's right gastroploic artery, that goes to the greater curvature of the stomach in anastomosis with left gastroploic artery. Okay? okay.